Hi everybody, this is CVGS. I'm the captain here and I got Rem. Yeah. And today I am subbing out for Dempster right now to do this uh, trial deck uh, overview video for the new VTD03 Aqua Force uh, booster, which is actually So You Leon. So Leon is back, LB in a more bishy form. So he's a lot more younger in the anime series and this is his trial deck. Uh, there is a company with his boost that also comes with the uh, the extra set, extra booster set over there. So um, we'll go straight to details right now. Is there anything you want to point out to me, Ram? On the side? Argos foil. Just the foil. Uh, who's that in front? Argos. Uh, Argos in front. So uh, he used to be the, the tanky vanilla. Now he's the great tree ace over here. So um, some information that you can get over here. So the release date you're seeing on right now. At the back, you can see the, the deck list at the back here, which we will go through uh, as per usual as we do. Uh, on the side here, I think this is uh, Theo, I believe. A great one. Yeah, a great one. So let's see what it is right here. So let's get into it right now. So, not much I can comment about the character. So The wind blows, guys. The wind blows very strong right now. Alright, so this is the deck itself. Oop, the first guy popped out. So put this to one side and showcase the playmat. So the playmat, uh, as we have always seen, which is now with the new uh, the gift zone. For, for you guys, so yeah, this is pretty much nothing interesting to note. So, no extra colors on the back here. You can see a rough guide on how to play the deck as well as how to upgrade the deck uh, with the new stuff, which includes Maelstrom uh, that's in the booster set uh, that's coming out at the same time as this deck. So, we put this to one side right now. The first guy with Leon on the front, so not much details over there. And now we get to the main event itself, which is the deck. So, let me just oh, that's interesting. It's now banded horizontally instead of vertically, so I guess it might be easier to put in. Now, first things first, no points. Go ahead to one side. And uh, in case you guys are not familiar, uh, the Alcopos clan is actually an Excel clan. So you're given three Excel markers, right? And who's there on the front? It's Argos. It's Argos as well on the front. So if you want to co collect him, that's a chance over there. Now, uh, oh! Oh! Wait, don't tell me. We actually got the hot stamp version of uh, of Argos over here. So, which is nice, you get a chance for that. If not, you get a normal one as well. The wind is blowing, guys. The wind is blowing very strong. <laughs> also, <laughs> the hand of God is working hard as well, because I randomly picked this up from a, from a pile. So, uh, now we're just going to break down the deck, and then we're just going to introduce you guys to all the stuff that's uh, in this set. Okay, so this is actually the VTD03 uh, broken down, the Aquaforce Trial Deck broken down into their, their separate cards right now. So uh, we'll go through each one of them and as per usual, uh, we'll actually we'll go through the, the triggers first. So we'll start off with the critical trigger. Uh, Rem, do you have the names for all the trigger triggers right now? Uh, so, so the trigger, the critical... The critical trigger is Battleship Intelligence. Okay, Battleship Intelligence. Then what's the first draw trigger here? The first draw trigger. Uh huh. There's the pyroxene communication sea otter soldier. It's a huge mouthful. So <laughs> Argo Force always have huge mouthful <laughs> names. So <laughs> the next one is the one that has a foil in this. So this dolphin is actually dolphin soldier of high speed rates. High speed rates. It's actually a front trigger actually. So yeah. All right. And the last one is the heel trigger, which is the uh, medical officer of the Rainbow Elixir, also known as the guardian of the Infinity Gauntlet. Not oh, checking, checking, checking. No, it's not the gauntlet. She's she has the Infinity Stones. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed so but yeah, those are actually the, the triggers that go through. So it comes in a standard four 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 four, with uh, front triggers actually making their appearance in a, a TD. Uh, so uh, all right, so let's just go down straight to the castle. So we start with the top one first. Uh, this is Naval Gazer Dragon. So uh, what's the skill ramp? So Vanguard Circle only when it attacks. If it is the third battle of this turn or more. You can counter boss one, stand one of your rear guards, and this unit gets plus 10k until the end of turn. Hmm, okay. So if it's the third, third battle or more, right? Yes. I almost said wave when what the hell is a wave? So, uh, <laughs> alright, so, no so the third battle or more, then you actually get to stand up. So if I'm remembering correctly, the old uh, naval gazer, how he plays, is a bit similar, except that he has to reach the fourth battle, which was. I, at the time, it was quite a challenge back then. So yeah, this one should be a lot more easier considering that it's a trial deck and the trial decks are not becoming easier. So if I'm not wrong, the attack also has to hit. Uh, yes, that's true. Because back then it had to hit also. Uh, all right, so we move on to the next card that we have over here. Now this is what is the name? 
Marine General of Raging Waves, Gondikas. Gondikas. Alrighty, so this uh, unit skill is that uh, when this unit attacks uh, while, up, while not boosted, uh, for the battle, this unit gets plus 5k power. So, this is actually falling in the tracks of, say, um, Maximum Riser. Uh, Maximum Riser actually has a similar skill except it gets plus 10k, but imagine putting this into an Excel circle that's plus 10k plus another 5, so there's a lot of power coming after you for an Arca Force clan. So, uh, any thoughts on that? It has a gift marker, but the skill only applies for Rearguard Circle. I mean, like, okay. Well, if you really, really missed out on Naval Gazer, which can happen, so uh, you were forced to ride him, so we see how it goes from there. So you really have to play there. there. So, <laughs> Alright, moving on to the next card. Now, this one is I'm mistaken for, for Great 3, but it's actually a Great 2. So, this is actually a Marine General uh, Argos. So, what's the his full title? Marine Region. General of the Restless Tides, Argos. Argos, alrighty. So, uh, his skill is that uh, the first skill on the Vanguard Circle, uh, when this unit attacks, if this is the second battle only, uh, it may counter blast one, so blast one, choose one of your Ray Guards and stand it. So, uh, the second skill on the Ray Guard Circle, when, this, uh, when, it, when attacking, uh, if it's the first battle, uh, this unit, uh, counter blast one, then stand this unit. So, uh, they get the first skill, correct? The first they... skill, you in second battle or more. Second battle or more, alright. So this one is a great tool, it's something that you ideally want to write up, similar to Blaster Blade, uh, back in the previous uh, TDs. Blaster Blade! I didn't want to make that joke, but okay. <laughs> but yeah, so basically this is your most ideal write up that you want to go up to. Just so that you can get uh, stands off and actually get more aggressive in the early games. Push your opponent down so that uh, once the Excel markers come in, it'll be a much more uh, harder for him to actually you know, get down. And he comes as a good support as well, being able to stand himself uh, if it's the first battle. So there's a lot of planning they need to do with Arco Force as Arco Force should be. Now, moving on to the next one, we have three copies of this. This is Shotgun Assault. Uh, so what's the skill, Ram? Do you know? So, the skill of Shotgun Assault is that Rear Guard Circle, when attacking a Vanguard, if it is the third battle or more, mm -hmm. Soul Blast 1 and that, that unit gets plus 8k until the end of that battle. Hmm, okay. So this one is actually a, a very good like uh, companion to Argos as well. Once you write Naval Gazer, then it's a good companion to Argos. Uh, Soul Blast 1, so basically you have it get plus 8k if it's the third battle or more. So, which means there's a lot of power coming after you as well, even on a normal Rayguard Circle, I would say, right? Yeah, especially with Front Trigger, <laughs> don't forget. Oh uh, yeah, we almost <laughs> forgot about Front Triggers on there, so... Yeah. Exile Clans, uh, you know, being the only clan that has the, the Front Triggers is a little bit difficult to, to remember from time to time, so... Alright, moving on to the next one here, so, uh, Rem, what is the, the name of this one? This is an old unit, so... Very old, but now I made a comeback. Tear Knight Lazarus. Tear Knight Lazarus. So, do you want to read the skill for me? Sure. So, applies for both Vanguard Circle and Rearguard Circle. When attacking a Vanguard, if it is the second battle or more, the unit gets plus 3k until the end of that battle. Ah, okay. So, uh, similar to, to um, Argos as well as uh, Shotgun Assault. So it's actually, these are the great tools that you actually will be using to, to attack. And not only that also, there's a certain order that you can get to, which can be good for the Arco Force player and also bad for him because, you know, his boy can actually see what he's attacking with first, what's his cycle going to be. So, but other than that, right, they give a lot of awesome power, am I correct? Yes. Indeed. So, uh, alright, so that's it for the great 2, so we move on to the great ones right now. So, great ones, uh, well, this is actually a vanilla 9k with no shield power. So this one is actually a Storm Rider, uh, Storios. Stelios. 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 So, okay, that's no a shield so. power. No shield power, it's a base 9k, so it makes uh, great against defending against Rush as well as a, a 9k flat booster, but it doesn't give any shields, so that's something you have to plan ahead. So, uh, Moving on to the next card that we have here, this is actually tier 9 Theos. Theo, sorry, not Theos. Uh, so Theo actually has a Vanguard Regard skill, so uh, when this unit attacks uh, or boosts, and it, or boosts an attack that hits the Vanguard, if it's the second battle or more, if it's the second battle or more, then uh, for the turn, uh, choose one of your units and they get plus 8,000 power. Plus 8k. 8k. That's a lot of power and that's a really, really good great one to have. So, drop your hand, please. Drop <laughs> your hand, please. This really encourages a very rush-based style 
uh, of play which Arco Force is known for. So <laughs> if only this wasn't rebooted, we actually would be very very surprised at how this how this all plays out. So um, we go on to the next card here. This is actually the vanilla uh, perfect guard. So this one is actually Battle Siren uh, Imelda. So yes. Uh, it's a sentinel, which means that you can only have four copies of uh, of sentinels in the deck. Then uh, in the guardian circle, when the when placed, uh, choose a discard one card from your hand as the cost. Then for the battle, that unit cannot be hit, or unit cannot be hit. So, uh, alrighty. So then we move on to the last one over here. Uh, this one is actually Battle Siren Dorothea. Am I correct? Yes. So what is the skill, Ram? Can you read that for me? So it's an X skill for regard circle, counter blast two, and one of your units gets plus eight k. Oh. So this one actually already sets up the high power for you, Dorothea, but it's a very, very high cost, Cover Bus 2. Yeah. <laughs> very, very, very high. So, but very I think uh, we've, uh, as we have noticed, there's actually no ways for them to actually recover any sort of uh, you know, resources, especially Cover Bus. So you really have to count your Cover Bus well between Dorothea as well as uh, um, Naval Gazer and all the other stuff that's over here. Like, so yeah. very, very, very nasty indeed. So, and the last card that we have here, this one is what's the name? Uh, recruit. I mean, Officer Cadet Eric. Officer Cadet Eric. So it's your generic uh, first vanguard. When rolled upon, draw one card. So, so that's all the cards that's actually in this set. Uh, what do you think so far after reading out all the seals? Very aggressive. I mean, this is the trial deck, the first trial deck I've seen so far with the great one with no shield value. Hmm. So this is. I'm just going through all the skills right now and formulating all the attacks in my head. It's gonna be very very hard to 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 stand up against to it. So, uh, but we'll see how it goes right now. So, because we're definitely gonna put this into a fight and see in action in its raw form. So, so if you wanna actually look forward to 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 that fight uh, as it comes out uh, very soon, uh, do subscribe to us here at CBGS as well as uh, ring the bell so you can notify of all of our videos uh, when they come out. At the same time, also follow us on all socials. We're on Facebook, Twitter. We also have a blog, cosmicguys.com. Uh, then you can also uh, join us on Discord as well, where you can find myself and Ram. We're there most nights as well as all the other fan guys and some of the other regards as well. And last but not least, if you like what you see here and want to support the show directly, do consider supporting us over on Patreon. Links are in the description box below. But with that said, we're going to get this ready into a fight and we'll see you in that video, next video. Bye! Bye!